Hey everybody, it's a whole cop. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, thanks for stopping by. Sure is a nice day here in New Jersey. I can't decide what I want to do. Whether I want to ride my motorcycle or ride my bicycle. Maybe I'll just do both. How do you ask? Let me show you. I got a bike rack for my Honda Goldwing. Come on, I'll show you. This bike rack is made by a company called 2x2 Cycles. I don't know how to link it on my page, so I'll put a screenshot of their website uh, up in the video somewhere like here. Okay, now, one thing you do have to have with one of these things is you have to have a trailer hitch, which I have because I tow a trailer. The bracket hooks onto that. Now, it's pretty convenient. It breaks down to about four or five pieces. The only problem is the two longest pieces in the body don't fit in the gold wing luggage, which you can't have everything. Now, you may be asking yourself, what the hell do I need something like that for? Well, chances are you probably don't need something like that, but here's why I got it. I dropped my bike off at a service uh, garage about 10 miles from here. It's a little too far to walk, and Uber is $25 and up one way. So any service I have done to the bike is another at least $50 and up is tacked on top of it because I have to get Uber. So now I just throw my bicycle on the rack. I ride down there, drop the bike off, ride the bike back. When it's time to pick it up, ride the bike back, and you get the picture. Also, the thought was when I go camping and I take all my stuff with me, if I'm staying at a campground that isn't on a bicycle friendly road, like a highway or something like that, I could throw the bike rack on, put the bike on, and then go to a park, go to a bike trail, and get my cycle in it because I need to do my cycling every day. So let's go for a ride and I'll show you how it works. Alright guys, so here we are. We just came to a park uh, close by my house. I'm just going to show you the setup, how it comes apart, how I put the bike together, and uh, where it ties down everything like that. Okay? Okay, here are the grab rails I installed last week. The hooks go on perfect there. Before I used to have to tie it around the backrest. It kind of bounced around a lot like that. It's a lot more secure here. I've also added this uh, pool noodle here to the back brace for obvious reasons. It, it you know, kind of presses up against the trunk lid. But other than that, it's how it comes from the, the factory. The well, arm here, I don't know if you can see it, that the wheel ties onto with its own axle, and then it has an axle lock up here for the fork locks. It's pretty easy, so I'll show you how it comes. I used to do this for a living. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for the bike ride today. I got the bike back on the rack. I got my arrow stitch back on. We're all set. Let's hit the road. All right guys, so that's what a bicycle rack looks like on a motorcycle. What do you think? Didn't really bounce around when I moved that much. I'm really happy with the way 
The strap worked out with the grab rails that I installed the other day. And uh, it's a lot more stable. Before I used to have to wrap it around the backrest here and it was kind of bouncing around, it was real sketchy. But I really like the way it turned out and I'll use it a lot more now. So it's kind of like the best both worlds for me. It's bicycling, motorcycling, a bicyclist, and a motorcyclist, a cycling cyclist. Is that name taken on Instagram? All right, guys, that's gonna bring us to the end of this video. Again, thanks for stopping by. If you're new here and you're not subscribing yet, subscribe, hit the little notification button. If you are a subscriber, thanks for your support. Um, also coming in this week, this is my new 360 camera. I've been talking about it. I'm just starting to get my feet wet with it. I've watched a few videos, so I'm gonna try to figure it out. Maybe I'll put some effects in it when I'm doing my editing. Uh, also, I got this week a luggage rack for the Harley that I'm gonna be putting on uh, probably in the next video. Um, I'm putting it on here. I'm not gonna be carrying any bags here. I just figured it'd be a good mount to uh, put this 360 camera and give it like a drone effect when I'm looking to do something like that. So keep an eye out for that. Big things are coming. Thanks for hanging in, and I'll see you next time. Later.